Hello guys, welcome to EZTV Presence Tech View, another episode. In this episode, I'll show you guys uh, how you can get certified with BMOR, which is BMOR Certified Professional. So BMOR certification is not the easy way you can get it. Uh, the way you can get other vendor certification like Microsoft, uh, Cisco, or um, uh, Security Plus, or any other certification, if you want to get it, or like a cloud, you just need to learn by yourself. And if you are prepared for the exam, you can just register through online in Pearson View or somewhere. And then you just need to give the exam. And if you pass the exam, you'll get the certification. But uh, BMR certification is a little bit tricky. The reason I'm saying a little bit tricky, which is um, BMR has some requirement. If you don't take BMR authorized uh, training from their authorized center, you cannot actually get the BMR certification. You cannot get the certification means you can sit for the exam anytime. You can pass the exam, but they will not going to give you the certification. They will not going to issue the certificate for you after you pass the exam. So what do you have to do? So you can take exam before taking the course or after taking the course, it doesn't matter. But you have to take a professional training. So I'm going to show you the path. First, I will explain how much you have to spend for taking the professional training and how much you have to spend for uh, exam. And also I'll show you some alternative path where you can do it uh, with cheap cost. So let's get started and see how we can do that. All right, so. Um, first of all, like I said, BMR has a requirement BMR has a requirement or the requirement is you have to have, uh, you have to take a BMR training from their authorized center. So who is your authorized center? If you search in Google, you're gonna see a lot of uh, companies, they provide BMR training, professional training, but how much this they charge? So I just give an example of one of, one of them, Exit Certified, they are one of the vendor like they provide their BMR authorized, they provide all kinds of IT training. So if you take a BMR, BSPR, install, configure, manage, and B8, that means it's a yes, a BSPR 8. So right now this is the latest version. And if you take this training, and which certification actually you need to get, right? So first you need to know which certification you need to know. So BMR has a lot of associate certification, but um but in um advanced level or maybe in, in in a professional level companies they don't value that much for the associate certification so uh, i don't think you should spend time or money for getting associate you can get a bmr professional certification so the for, the bmr has a lot of certification so at least you should have one which most of the company they look for it which is BMR Certified Professional Data Center Virtualization. How you get it is here's the link, bmr.com slash learning slash certification, then you're gonna get it. So the second option, data center virtualization, and this is, this is the one you need to do. So if you click here, you're gonna see what is the path for it, right? So if you don't have any BCP previously, you are in this category. But if you have something, then you can go for other category, you can check what you need to do. So the first step is you recommend it. Gain experience with BSPR 7X or BSPR 8X. You have to have experience, but if you don't have experience, nobody can judge you. But so that means you are you can pass this step. But the second step said required attend one of the required training course. It means that you have to take a professional training from their authorized center. It's required, you have to do it. And then the third option is also required, pass one of the qualified exam. The exam qualification is here. You can pass maybe uh, BSPR 8 or BSPR 7, any one, but BSPR 7 is going to be expired soon, retire soon, January 31. So in between, you have to take it. Um, so 
what you need to do. And exam, exam is for, so on the exam, you have to answer 70 questions and 100, uh, 130 minutes. And the exam fee is $250. It's not an issue. You can register any time. You, know, you can say schedule exam. And if you just need to go through this and you have to have a BMR account, you have to log into your BMR account. That's what it means. Um, so the same course, so this required course, it says uh, required attended course. If you click here, you're gonna see what's the requirement. BMR, BSPR, install, configure, and manage. ICM. So this training you have to have, or you can have any other training, that's fine. But this is the very basic one, the first one. So you have to take ICM training, install, configure, and manage. And so look at here, if you take this training from their authorized center, how much you have to pay? $4,250 per student. And also this is just an example. So <clears throat> it's for five days from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So you have to spend time dedicated five days in a weekdays that means you're gonna lose money while you are job, you are doing the job. You have to take off from your job. That means you are losing that money. Plus, you have to spend five days, consecutive five days, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And you have to spend $4,250 just to complete their this requirement, step number two. But I'm going to show you an alternative path where you just need to pay only $195. So instead of paying $4,250, just pay only $195. So there is a community college in North Carolina or South Carolina. This is called Stanley Community College. And if you go to the Stanley Community College and on their academics, if you click uh, on the academics, if you click the IT Academy, then you're gonna see here, there is a BMR, BMR, and then go down and say online whitelist. And online whitelist, you're gonna see a lot of courses. And from, from the bottom, third one, you see BSPR 8, install, configure, and manage ICM. Select this one and click next. And then I'll pay for this class on my own. Select this one, click next, and then put oh, like, fill it up your information here and then submit. So after you submit, what are you gonna, what they will do? They're gonna make you on their whitelist. And whenever they're gonna start their course, they will inform you, we are going to start our class on this date or this date. And based on that, when you get the email from them, and then you have to pay $195. But for this registration, you, have, you don't need to pay anything. So I'll recommend, highly recommend, just register it. Make sure you are in their whitelist. And then whenever they start the course, they will inform you. So this is the one way. So you can uh, take the course. And the other thing is, this course will not kill your time because it's on-demand course. That means it's not a fixed time. It's two months duration. And every week you have to complete some their labs, uh, you have to submit, you can complete it with one day. Like you, you'll get seven days, but within one day you can complete it. It's pretty simple and easy. And you just need to watch some video and, and, and they have some instruction based on the instruction. You just need to complete the uh, lab, that's it. So within two months, you're gonna finish your uh, course. And then now I'm gonna show you how you're gonna, uh, so then you're gonna uh, register for the exam, uh, like exam like this like schedule exam, register it, but make sure you have your BMR account. And after you re registered, then you have to get, give the exam, right? But you have to be prepared before you give the exam. So for preparations, I, I'll, I'll show you and I can recommend you to follow this exam topic. And this is the exam code 2V02130. So I'm just, for example, if you don't know this one, for example, you just log into exam topics here, right? So it's gonna show you this screen. So on the it's here search icon, click here and then type the 2V0 something, 20 under 23, you're gonna see BMR BSPR 8X Professional. This is the course. So it will take you to the uh, 
their dumps. So follow this one. In database, they have said they have 112 questions. And you're going to see exactly the same question on the exam. But the exam, they have some wrong answer. I'll show you how you can make, get the correct answers. I like this site because they have a forum. So they take the forum board. So which one is high boarded? That's going to be the an answer. And also, you're going to see here people's comments who already passed the uh, exam. So you can see it here. People uh, comments who already passed the exam. So if you go inside of this um, this one inside, so I I just gonna show you one thing. You see here, relevant solution. If you click here, what it shows, it shows the answer correct answer is A and D, but the answer is wrong. So they have a community board. If you go to the discussion, you're gonna see people like the other students comments there. And based on the comments, they come up with this community board distribution. So DE is 55%, C is 39% and other is 7%. So, so based on that, what should be the answer? The answer is DE, 55%. 55%, this is the answer. So that's how you can prepare yourself. You see here? The correct answer says A, B, F, but community board said B, C, D, and it's 100% both. So that means B, C, D will be the answer. So that's how you can make prepare yourself. And that's all. But so, and you're gonna get exactly the same question in the exam. So if after you pass the exam, or before you take the professional training, if you want, you can sit for the exam, just study these materials and uh, uh, like register online. And pass the exam. After you pass the exam, BMO are not going to issue the certificate. Take the course. So the course you can take before or after, it doesn't matter. But make sure after you complete the course, you have to call BMO Education Service and open a ticket with them and tell them, I have completed the required training from Stanley Community College. And then, uh, and also from the Stanley Community College, they will send you some course completion certification certificate so just send that over to VMware and then they will issue your certificate so that's the total process and i believe all of you guys understand uh, what i explained so far um and um if you think this video is helpful please give make some comments which will encourage me to make more videos for you guys and also don't forget to give big thumbs up and also click the bell icon to get my next video update. And if you are new in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And thank you. Thanks for watching.